Okay, so much has happened. So we, uh, the last time you saw us, we uh, got a ride into town. And then when we got to town, we discovered that uh, Frack had left his fanny pack at the trailhead. And it got found, which was the good news. So I'm thinking it got found by three different people. The first person that found it took all the cash. You know, whatever. Um, but there's a spoon missing. <laughs> We're not sure why the spoon is missing. But anyway, so we had to get a new spoon. But we got the fanny pack back. So, you know, we got the cards. We got all the, all the good stuff. So we can hike on. Lesson learned on the cash. But uh, a New Zealand hiker found it after that. And he was not sure what to do with it. And then a local hiker assured him that she would get a hold of us, and she did. So we stayed at the Trail Angels house for a couple of days. Then we had to go get a hotel because my hip locked up. <laughs> so I had to stay in town for three more days. So thank God we're back on trail, and we'll see if we can get a few miles up trail. <laughs> Talk to you later. All right, we've been going along here and I'd stop at this little view here. And uh, it's some of us a little bit overgrown, but it's really nice walking through the shady places. It's uh, a bit warm today, but not too bad. These are the gates that we get in Oregon. <laughs> They're a little more than the ones in California. You get to lift it up, push it on open, and head on down the trail. <sighs> the frack shut the gate for us. There he is. <laughs> Here we are. Another beautiful view. Just climbing up the hill a little bit. So we, uh, when we got off. We decided instead of going back and trying to pick up the snowy miles we missed that we would just hike north because we live in Oregon so we can come back for that or we can save it until we come back to complete the trail. So that's what I'm thinking about that. And there is Pilot Rock. It's really nice closer look there. All right. On down the trail we go. And then here's the view on the other side of the trail as we come up toward Pilot Rock there. We've seen, well, when we got on trail, there was a couple of northbound hikers that rode with us with the trail angel, Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. And uh, we've past one day hiker coming down from Pilot Rock and we have passed, well, we have been passed <laughs> by a couple of southbound hikers from, uh, from a different country. So just hiking along. Hmm. Okay, that's probably the other side of Pilot Rock I'm thinking. It's pretty windy out here, up top of the hill here. <laughs> Mountain, I should say. 
It's pretty cool. So we will decide whether or not we're going to the next water source or camping here. So we're hiking along here, and look, it's a tea tree. Ha ha, very funny. <laughs> Not really, but whatever. <laughs> we're just hiking along, nice and shady, and we get to go downhill through here. So, just uh, hiking on till we get to camp in a couple miles. Our tent was right here last night, which was great because this is what we got to wake up to this morning. Let me see. It's even prettier this way. Look at that. Snow on the mountain over there. You can't see clearly, but I can. <laughs> All right. Okay. And this is our trail this morning. And we already had Two nice section hikers passed us this morning as we were rolling out of camp. We're uh, gonna plan is to go 10 ish miles today, just getting started, so we'll talk at you after a while. And this is why we hike right here. We come out of these little tree area and then we get this oh man look at that and I know this camera doesn't do it justice but wow kind of makes up for the fact that we're going uphill a little bit here <laughs> Oh my goodness, so beautiful. I get up here. Here's a nice view here. I'm just going through this meadow. For a little while. It's still getting lots of pretty views. Okay, here's a little view peeking between the trees. We're uh, going uphill right now. And uh, in about a mile, <laughs> we're gonna cross a highway and maybe get off and get some barbecue right there real quick. <laughs> the things you do when you're through hiking. All righty. And then we get to the top of the hill <laughs> and we get a better view. Much better view.
We spent the night last night at Green Springs Inn. It's very nice, very reasonably priced. Got to have dinner last night and breakfast this morning at the restaurant. And then we loitered for a while. So now we're taking a road walk up toward Hyatt Lake Reservoir. All right, I'm gonna try the walking down the trail trick while I talk a little bit <laughs> so that Dylan can see my face. Hi, Dylan. <laughs> Anyways, so we are back on trail after uh, going to Hyatt Lake Resort to pick up a resupply box that we really didn't need. So we left some stuff in the hiker box and we're hiking on. Uh, we here. There's supposed to be a heat wave coming through, so we shall see if we have to get off trail or hunker down next to water somewhere here in the next few days. Because uh, we don't like 100 degree temperatures. So here's the trail in the mean. So now the snow's, uh, the sun's out of your eyes. <laughs> Now this here is definitely an obstacle in our path. <laughs> Cause uh, <laughs> this tree is taller than us. It looks like people went down this way. There's a little bit of a trail. That doesn't look like fun either, but that's where we're headed. <laughs> Just thought you guys would like to see some of the interesting things we come across sometimes. All right, well, we were tooling along down the trail and the trail crosses this uh, dirt road and nobody's driven on it for quite a while because there's a log across the road up there. And there's a log across the road down there. So we just thought this little spot right next to the road looks like a nice place to post up. So since we got dropped off, near Callahan's Resort. We hiked 7.7 .7 miles the first day, camped with a view. We accidentally hiked 9.2 miles yesterday and camped, uh, or actually we stayed at uh, resort. And uh, today we have gone about eight, no, six, six miles. Yep, three on the road, three on the trail. Time for bed. It's almost hiker midnight. 